of the granite. So it is very low. So it's very rare as well to, to find it. But we found hundreds of these hammers, actually, these were the hammers. We found hundreds of them around the area here. And we used them to make the experiment and it worked. So when we go up there, you will see the obelisk on, on there. It goes like this. And a big trench surrounding, a deep trench. At the very bottom of the trench, we found holes, big holes, on both sides, actually. Holes, these holes go underneath the obelisk slope on both sides, but still a, a, a thin layer in between, still uh, uh, unsplitted. So inside these holes also we found beams made of sycamore wood. So we uh, made the experiment to try it exactly according to, to the uh, theory uh, suggested by one of the German scholars called Engelbach. They used this to shape it first. I mean, lots of these balls and some or hammers, some were pointed, attached to rammers. And hundreds, of course, manpower was everything. Hundreds of them, in a certain way, they were just uh, cutting or shaping, forming the obelisk. You can see the traces mm -hmm. of the balls on the obelisk itself. That's how they cut it, like, like just using this as a hammer. And then they used some pointed ones also to go underneath the obelisk and to dig this, this, these big, big, big holes. Then they used to put the sycamore wood inside. It's just a thin layer, still unsplitted. So after putting the beams of wood, they pour water in these holes. So water, uh, I mean, uh, uh, this is the hottest place all over the, the world maybe, with the heat, the sycamore wood expands and it split that thin layer from the mother rock. Oh. So wood would cut granite, which is something we thought it's impossible until <laughs> we, we tried it in that experiment and, and we, we, uh, uh, it succeeded.